Hey Cancers, happy Thanksgiving if you're here in the US and you celebrate. I'm not personally really celebrating today, um, but I hope you guys have a good holiday weekend, safe, happy, and joyful. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. So today is the 25th and we're gonna do it for the following week. If you happen to find this at another time and it resonates, take the reading as it resonates. So this will be the 25th through the uh, December 3rd, going into December. All right, so Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter is being called to do your reading. I'm not going to take any reversals because a lot of times the cards are all reversed. This is a love reading, so we're going to see what's going on in love for you guys, for Cancers. Ooh, Six of Wands, there could be some victory here, some success, okay? It also could be someone's ego getting in the way of something here. All right, so let's see what that's all about. Cancers. This is a love, the Lovely Omen Tarot, which I love. The Lovers, you see these are all reversed. The Tower, okay, Gemini energy with the Lovers, Eight of Swords. Okay, something could have happened with a Gemini or with a twin. You see the Lovers as the twin. Someone you saw as your soulmate, um, and it's really got maybe both of you guys in your head about it here. You could be really torn up, trying to follow your intuition, maybe not sure which direction to move forward from here. Okay, interesting. The tower doesn't always have to be bad, though. It could just have been something that really got switched up here. Oh, look at this. The two of cups and the lover. So I definitely feel like you've got some love on the horizon here. If it's not happening now, it's definitely going to be coming. And this could lead to marriage. This is amazing, you guys, with the Hierophant. So I definitely feel like there's a significant soulmate connection. And it is going to be successful if you've been in a period of confusion, of doubt, of um, just kind of stuck in your own head, get out of that negative thinking. You could be projecting past experiences onto this, and this could really be, I rarely ever say this, but this could really be the one. This could really be a long-term commitment. Either way, this is a very deeply spiritual connection with the Hierophant. It could be Taurus, could be Gemini, and it could be um, the Towers, like Mars energy, so Scorpio or Aries. Okay, so we're going to get more into this. What are some of the other themes going on, Cancer? I'm going to be using the um, Yin and Yang Oracle from Angelic Revelation 144. All right, so let's see your energy and their energy. I'm going to get two for you. The first two are going to be your energy. We've got temptation and renewed faith. Okay, so I feel like that's kind of like, to me, the angel and the devil on your shoulders, like you're going back and forth, like between maybe negative thoughts, but also positive, okay? And then we have shared destiny on their side. They could feel like you guys are meant to be together here. You see, Guilty relationship, ooh, temptation. So there is sort of like this element of... Um, Oh, there's a dynamic, maybe a third party where they feel like tempted by someone else. I mean, this is your side, but I feel like maybe you could sense that they're tempted or that there's some, I don't know. There's like a karmic energy here. We're going to get more of your energies. I'm going to use my moody moon messages of feminine edition here, honoring the cycle of the divine feminine. That's interesting because it says shared destiny. I also feel with that, it's like nothing can stop you from who you're meant to be with, right? And then I'm looking at this Pog Oracle that I have, destiny, it's turned up. So there's something about destiny here, guys. It's, I feel like it's about renewing your faith in destiny and trusting, even if there was maybe a dynamic that seemed like a third party not to get like caught up in that maybe it was just wrong timing i mean i'm not saying to condone that but if you feel like someone truly is your twin flame maybe you guys had to go your own ways to figure this out this is keeps wanting to come up so you are the only one i want head over heels so this is definitely someone who you feel like is the only one you want that could be how they feel about you too fantasizing, astral projecting, stuck in the 5D, easy breezy. So going with the flow, um, this is your energy. 
What's their energy from this deck? I definitely feel you're like, this person might make you feel just like very relaxed and happy and calm when you're with them. Even though we did have that guilty relationship, maybe you feel guilty because there's someone else in the picture. They've kind of, they're kind of unstable right now. Their moods are fluctuating. Um, and daydreaming, look at that fantasizing and daydreaming stuck in my head so you guys are kind of mirroring each other look at these energies with the sunset so um i definitely feel like you guys are both thinking about each other that's kind of the energy i was getting even before i started with this deck okay so let's see some of the problematic not problematic but um I didn't mean to say problematic because I'm going to actually use this um, silhouettes from Carrie from Celestial Forecast. Um, some of the other energies within your dynamic here, Cancers. I am doing extendeds. I have to still do Pisces and Taurus on my um, Patreon. So um, but I will be doing extendeds for these astrological readings. So this is from Silhouettes from Carrie from Celestial Forecast. Listen, talking is not enough if we see right through each other other, without actually hearing what we're saying. So maybe you guys really need to have a conversation because um, if we see right through each other without action. So it's like, I feel like both of you guys really need to hear out where the other person's coming from. Okay. And also when I see listen, it's like pay attention to the signs, the synchronicities that you're seeing, the angel numbers, the animals that you're seeing apocalypse the tower will fall when you ignore the red flags every time without fail oh my god you guys that's so crazy because we had the tower so um that is definitely a sign there could have been a tower that fell it could have been them with their third party as well and also this is saying for you not to ignore red flags soul bond forever connected regardless of time distance or circumstance you see so um i do feel this is a twin flame dynamic here Okay, I do feel like no matter what has happened, it's helped you maybe get more in touch with your soul, with like understanding. Okay, so let's see, what does this person want to communicate to you? This is Hidden Truth, Volume 1 and Volume 2. I am in a committed relationship, okay, but that's that guilty relationship. So I definitely feel like there could be a third party. Like, you're the third party here on the side, unfortunately. But at the same time, you guys both feel this soul bond. I miss being with you. Maybe they separated because they were just trying to do the right thing. Maybe this person is married, okay? Unfortunately. I hide behind material things. I feel this is also saying they hide behind this, like fake persona of what their life looks like they like make this appearance of what things are but deep down they have this like thing with you you let me down I feel like that could be you I see life differently now and I love you unconditionally okay so there could have definitely been a lot of letdowns in this dynamic with the tower energy but I feel like their perspective is changing maybe in the past they always hid behind material things I do feel at the end of the day they do love you unconditionally like there's that soul bond there. Okay, so let's get some final energies for messages of love um, from all things intuitive. What's some future energies of you and this person, Cancer? Play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, enjoy each other. I feel like you you might be playing hard to get at this point. You might have pulled back your energy. That's what every time I see that card, that's what I think of, like playing hard to get. Oh, look at this release, second chance and apology. OK, so I do feel like this person is going to um, they might even notice that you've kind of released them. Radical acceptance and surrender could help you let go. I also feel like if they do come forward and they ask for a second chance and they do apologize, this might be telling you to. Hold on, guys. Sorry. 
this might be telling you guys to release the past, release any anger, forgive them, because I do feel this is a deep soul bond that you guys have, and maybe you can play hard to get for some time, but at the end of the day, if this is something you really want, then I would, um, you know, I would be a little forgiving about this, okay? Um, because it could have just been wrong timing. But that's your reading, Cancers. Um, if you're interested in my extendeds, I will be doing that one, but it probably won't be for another couple days. So thank you for being here. New subscribers, I always comment back. And um, subscribe and comment if you like my content. Thanks, guys. Bye.